Annalisa Rushton and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. The four time ladies world champion. No score. Taking on the bullseye challenge, but maybe it won't be the bullseye champion starting off with a zero. Well, the positive no news score. for Lisa is there's still plenty of time. The bad news is on the opening six, she hasn't registered her point yet. There we go. We've got a point on the board, Lisa in the green. Three. This is the Lisa Ashton we know. You can see the back of her shirt got four stars across the no score. top of the name there. That represents the world titles that she's picked up. Good job it's only world titles, otherwise she'd look like the sky. The amount of stars Two. that would be plastered all over that shirt. One. It doesn't look like the bullseye challenge is a challenge at least is going to be conquering. There's only seconds to go. Throw up, counting them all. Three. Lisa Ashton scores nine. Hi, I'm Johnny Barnes, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. And we're underway with the bullseye challenge. We've got Johnny Barnes here. He's Three. played 233 games for Watford, 340. Actually, sorry, wrong John Barnes, but he's a very sporty guy. He's been playing cricket for England Three. over 50s. He's snooker. Tells me he plays off a three for golf, which I'm reliably informed means he's pretty good. One. He's not too bad at the darts either. Not been playing too long, Johnny Bryant. Been playing in his Super League for a couple of years, and he's looking for some super Two. darts here on the bullseye. Still plenty of time on the clock. Two. Plenty of points on the board here for Johnny Bryan. He's still got 15 seconds. Plenty of time for a few more throws and a few more bullseyes. Two. Doesn't even need to rush. Take your time, Johnny. Throw him properly. No score. Ah, oh, time's up. <laughs> Johnny Barnes scores 13. Hi, I'm Adam Old, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. I'm going to make a bit of a prediction here for you for Adam Mould. I think he's going to do really well at this challenge. He's one of those players that can just alter Three. his pace. He can start throwing a lot quicker, and he doesn't tend to find that it affects the level of performance too much. This is the sort of challenge that is built for him. I say that, and he's taking one. a bit of a leisurely stroll in his first couple of throws. Averaging a throw every sort of 12 seconds at the moment, Mouldy. Thought... Especially Two. the way he was practising before, and he may pick up the pace. Maybe he didn't get the memo. It's a race against the clock, Adam. Two. Yet to find a bullseye, but finding plenty of green. No score. Well, that prediction's looking good at the moment. Adam Mould to perform well on the bullseye challenge, currently on eight. Two. Adam Mould scores ten. Hi, this is Timothy Vibre. It's my bullseye challenge. Game on. Timothy's turn to take on the bullseye challenge. Joining us from Belgium. Three. Taking a leisurely stroll up and down the hockey. Should expect to see Timothy be fairly good. On the no bullseye, score. they do play a lot of ball shootery games over in Europe. Still use quite a lot of soft tip darts over there, but Timothy, despite a good start with no the first score. three darts, has failed to score anything in the next six. Seems to be averaging a throw every ten seconds, and wow, he's back in the red. Five. He's back in the game. With the average. Throw time continues. He's got two more visits to go. One. But now he's going a dash on. Now he realises he may get another six darts. Four. Quick, throw, throw, throw. No, throw. no, no, no. Timothy Vabreur scores 13. 
Uh, hello, I'm Shane McGurk, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on! Referee Owen Binks just checking with Shane McGurk. He understands the rules because he ain't running up to the hockey. It's Two. when the dart first hits the board, Shane. And I just watched Shane walk up onto the stage, and he had a big beaming smile across his face. He's what? clearly been looking forward to taking on this challenge. He's dashing up and down the hockey. And if he carries on like this, we may even have to class this as exercise. Three. He's going up and down the hockey so quick. He's starting to find the targets as well. Two. He's one of those players that can alter his pace, and he's doing so to success so far. He's getting a lot of darts in as well. He's still got plenty of time on the clock. Two. Plenty of time to register some more scores. He's been doing well at the 501 stakes this week. One. He may be doing well on the bullseye challenge. I think he can get another visit in here if he's quick. Oh, he's good. He's very Five. good. Over the shoulder, Shane. Oh, no score. Shane McGurk scores 16. Hi, I'm Nathan Govan, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. Nathan's so keen to get on with this challenge. Owen I mean, Binks wasn't even ready. He's no score. A quick player, but he's not started with the accuracy. Here, Nathan Gervin. If you was to pick a favourite for this, you'd probably Three. put Gervin at the very top. Two qualities you need: speed and accuracy. And he's been fairly good at those no over score. the years, but not so much today. That's better. Oh, he could fill it. Four. He's back in it. And there's plenty of time for Nathan Gervin. Could get another three visits. And now he's finding the three. red. Finding the colour that matches the shirt on his back. Two. Quite ironically there. Red followed by the white. Four. Nathan Gervin scores 17. Okay, now it's time for the Group A Weekly Bullseye Challenge. Game on. Well, we've seen individual bullseye challenges. Now it is time to play together. Let's be friends and try and be record Great. breakers as a team. The Group A Weekly Bullseye Challenge, 90 seconds to score as many points as possible. Same Four. rules, and it's not a bad start. I like this, because what we get to see is also the characters that are in there Two. as well. Notice how Shane McGurk was first to the hockey. That would be me as well. I'd be, I want to throw first. I want to be the Rudolph. Two. Here comes Nathan Gervin. There's maybe a bit of pressure, isn't there? You've got the expectations of five other people on your shoulders. Three. This is superb. Don't want to be mystic. All right, Owen, leave us commentary to us, mate. One. And this probably will translate into the practice room as well. You'll get certain characters that will go back and take credit Four. for the score. Oh, well, he can take credit for that. Johnny Barnes on target. Five. Twice on the bullseye. This is unbelievable. There goes Owen again. Two. I think the person who's enjoying this the most is probably Owen Binks right now. Is he the team captain or something? One. Just as long as they don't let him throw the darts. I don't think anybody's Two. completely missed yet, have they? You know what's coming. I said it. No score. <laughs> quick, quick. There we go. A bit more encouragement from the gaffer. For it. No score. But that's I a mess. A Good challenge, though. Well done. Week one, group A, scores 29. My name's Adrian Gray, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. This time, game on. Adrian Gray, a.k.a. The Conqueror. Got that nickname for famously beating Phil the Power Taylor, turning off the power in the Three. World Grand Prix. After he already packed his bags, he was ready to go home. He didn't expect to win that match, but I expect that he's going to do very well here at the Bullseye Challenge. Adrian Gray, very well One. known in the soft tip world where 
They traditionally spend quite a bit of time around the bullseye area. They're also treating us to a semi-moonwalk as well. Two. Definitely a different strategy here for Adrian Gray. He's not wasting time turning around twice. And now he's starting to find the red. Two. I think we need to edit into Michael Jackson music as he's retrieving the dart. He might not have time for another throw here, One. despite time being on the clock. A little bit of a shimmy. A bit of a throw. One scored. Adrian Gray scores 10 bullseyes. My name's Jacob Gwynn, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. One point for a green, two points for a red, and it's two Yorkshiremen on the stage here. One. Two scored. Paul Hinks calling in the scores, and Jacob Gwynn, who's going to be hoping to throw a few crackers here, and he's finding the red nice and early. Two scored. Eight. Flip around of the first visit where he found the bullseye after a couple of misses. This time, finds the ball and then the misses. Two scored. Well, he's consistent, isn't he, Jacob Gwynn? Three throws, two points on each. One scored. He's lost that consistency, but he's dashing up and down the hockey here. He's got plenty of time, plenty of time to get. A couple more points on the board. Another bullseye. He's third of the round. Three scored. Plenty of time, Jacob. Can we get a fourth? No scored. Time up. Jacob Gwynn scores 10 bullseyes. My name is Jamie Kellen, and this is my bullseye challenge. This time, game on. Jamie Kellen has done a lot on this board, a lot in this arena, Three. a lot on that stage. He has won groups, he has won a week, he has played at Champions Week, but it would be the biggest achievement of them One. all if he was to conquer the Bullseye Challenge. Still looking for his first red, but he's very consistent Three. on the green. Racking up the score, seven points so far, all on the single digits. That looks inviting. Two. You know, wish you could have another dart on there because that looked so inviting for going in off the crossbar. I don't think we've ever had a darting crossbar challenge before, but there Four. we go. He's got his first bullseye. First one on the board. First one in the red. 11.25. This is mightily good. Mightily consistent Two. here from Jamie Kellen. Time up. Jamie Kellen scores 15 bullseyes. This is a week one Group C bullseye challenge. Thank you. Game on. Right, the Group C bullseye challenge gets underway. Jacob Gwynn, the debutant, leading the field first in. Three scored. And he does very well. Teamwork is the approach in this one. Have you noticed the running order as well, that the players three get scored. to decide themselves? The three players that have actually got experience now of this group bullseye challenge that played in Group A have all let the newbies go first. Three scored. Yeah, what they don't know is there's a new rule here at the Moda Super Series. We're changing it into a bit of a game show. Anyone seen the traitors? So whoever put themselves last in the line three actually scored. has to leave the competition before they throw a dart today. Well, everyone so far has hit a bullseye. Three scored. Well, Group A earlier in the week got 29. That is the score to beat. Three scored. Every player on lap one has hit the ball. Who's going to be the first to crack? Is that a ball? I don't think it is. Four scored. It was. It was. I will not question Paul Hinks. Two scored. Sorry, Adrian. It's got to be said. First man to miss a ball. But that's a mighty fine run of bullseye hitting from group C. I think they were on 26 here. Four scored. That bullseye would have made it 28 if my maths are right, so they're only one, one away. Scored. Ten seconds on the clock. No scored. Yeah, Three they've, scored. They've done it. They've beat Group A. Game up.
Group C, superb. Teamwork makes the dream work. Group C scores 32 points. Well done. My name's Bab Patel and this is my bullseye challenge. Bab Patel was seen over the festive period on the World Championship stage after Five. getting through the Indian qualifier. He's a man with a lot of ambition and with darts like that, Who's to argue with him? Two bullseyes on the first visit. Make that three. Three. This could be quite the score. Got to say, I'm a big fan of that Pav Patel logo as well. See it on the front of his chest and across the One. back of his shirt. He just lost his way in that last visit. A check of the scoreboard there to see he's still got plenty of time on his hands here. One. Still enough time to get two visits. If he can get himself back in the red. Three. Now he needs to get his skates on. Get moving, Bav. Get moving. No score. Bob Patel scores 13 bullseyes. My name is Reese Robinson and this is my bullseye challenge. The most must-see bullseye challenge here at the Super Series. One. Although he'd probably be hoping he could start it again. He's Robinson. Will be expecting a very, very high score of himself on this one. The man who's Two. called himself the human highlight reel in this venue. He's only started off with a couple of greens. One. Just the one point. For the green, two for the red. One. Although that doesn't seem to be something Reese Robinson can find at the moment. Three. He's up and running on the bullseyes, but it may be too late. Just ten seconds to go. I'm sure Reese Robinson's going to try and squeeze two. in another throw here. There's still time. Two. Reese Robinson scores 12 bullseyes. This is week one, group B, bullseyes challenge. Game on. Well, this is a group, group B bullseye challenge featuring four players. Richard North has been Two. exempt from this challenge on medical grounds. Is that because he won't stop talking Two. and the rest of the players wanted to concentrate? Something like that, yeah. On their medical grounds. But anyway, it's been a great addition Four. to the Bullseye Challenge here at the Super Series and the, everybody seems to work better as a team. Although it's going to take some going to beat the score that we saw from Group C. We found an awful lot of Bullseyes this afternoon. Two. Yeah, it went flying past the 30 mark. One. Only two bulls hit so far. Four. Speaking of bulls hit, Richard North hasn't made it because he was chatting to somebody outside and never made two. it in the building on time. So inviting. For Two. Reece Robinson, not able to find. Very sporting, he gets out the way very quickly. Three. One. Just not enough bull. Not enough red bits. Plenty of green. One. And that one is taken, but it's not the best performance from a group so far. Week one, Group B, Bullseye Challenge scores 27.